Let's practice our rotations going counterclockwise this time. The process is the same. We're still going to start by visualizing the clock going around the outside. The big clock with this dot here being at the center of the clock, just like the screw holding on the hands in the face of the clock. Visualize the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9. Now that we can see the clock in our mind, it'll help us to know which way is counterclockwise. Remember, counterclockwise is going backwards around the clock. So instead of going from 12 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4, we're going to go backwards from 12 to 11 to 10 to 9 to 8 to 7 to 6 and so on. This direction here would be counterclockwise. Now we need to know how much is a quarter turn. Again, you're going to visualize dividing the face of the clock up into four sections, from 12 to 6 and from 3 to 9. So you can see the four equal sections. If you actually need to draw out the clock and put those lines on the face of the clock so you can see the four chunks, that is totally fine. Now that you can see the four chunks, we know that a one-quarter turn is just going through one of those. We're going counterclockwise, so we're going backwards. 12, 11, 10, 9. Once we get to 9, we would have hit one of those sections. So this is a one-quarter turn counterclockwise. Now we know that we went counterclockwise, that we went backwards around the clock, but to prove it we need to draw those arrows to show that we went this direction from the 12 to the 9. Let's practice another one, this time going a half turn counterclockwise. Again, visualize that big circle. Remember the dot here is at the center of your clock. Can you remember the four numbers that we draw? If you said the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9 would be correct. Now that you have those in your head, it's pretty easy for you to picture which way is counterclockwise, going backwards around the clock. Going backwards around the clock, remember, is from the 12, 11, 10, 9, and so on. Now we need to think about what is a half turn. I know that halfway around the clock would be at the 6. That's half an hour, which is 30 minutes. So I need to be all the way down here for it to be a half turn. Notice this looks exactly like a half turn clockwise. So we have to take the time to prove to them that we really did go counterclockwise. To do that, we're going to show those curved arrows going from 12 to 9 and from 9 to 6, saying that we went indeed backwards or counterclockwise. Let's practice one more going three-quarter turn counterclockwise. Can you remember the first step? He said draw the face of the clock around. With this being the center, you'd be correct. So it would be a nice big circle with this being in the very center of the clock. Then remember that you put those numbers on, 12, 3, 6, and 9. Once you have those on, it's pretty easy for you to picture which way is counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, remember, is going backwards from 12 to 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and so on. Now that you know which way you're heading, go ahead and visualize drawing that line from 12 to 6 and from 9 to 3 so you can actually see the four sections of the clock. We need to go through three of them because a three-quarters turn means go through three out of four pieces. So going this far to the 9 would be one piece. Going this far to the 6 would be two pieces. And all the way over here would be finally three pieces, so you'd be pointing towards the three. Now we know we went counterclockwise. We know we went around the outside. So we have to prove it to people by drawing those curved arrows to show that we really indeed went from 12 to 9, from 9 to 6, and from 6 to 3. So you have this big giant curved arrow showing that you went almost all the way around the clock because 3 out of 4 pieces is most of the way colored in. So now it's time for you to try it yourself. Go ahead and get a whiteboard if you don't already have one and practice drawing these three rotations quarter turn clockwise, half turn counterclockwise, three quarter turn counterclockwise. Remember, begin by drawing that circle around with the dot being at the very center of the clock just like the screw that holds the hands on. Visualize where the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9 are. Connect the 12 and the 6 and the 9 and the 3 so you can actually see the four chunks on the clock. Once you have all those things done, you should be able to tell which way is clockwise versus counterclockwise and how far you need to rotate. Don't forget to draw those curved arrows so you know and you can prove to people which way you really did spin the ring.
Go ahead and press pause now so you can do those three rotations and when you're ready to check your work you can hit play again. You should be ready to check your work now. First thing you did, I'm sure, was to draw those hand, or that clock around so you could see where the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9 were. With a clockwise rotation, you're going the way the hands on the clock would normally go, from 12 to 1 to 2 to 3, and so on. You should have connected the 12 and the 6 and the 9 and the 3 with those line segments so you could see the four sections. Knowing that you were going a quarter turn, that would be going through one of those sections. So you should have had something that looked like this, an L going the correct direction. Now to prove to me that you really did go clockwise, you needed to have that curved arrow on the inside saying that you went from the 12 to the 3. With your half turn, you, this time you're going counterclockwise. So if you had that big clock drawn around the outside with the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9, then knowing counterclockwise would be going backwards from 12 to 11 to 10 to 9 and so on. We saw that it doesn't matter if you go clockwise or counterclockwise, when you have a half turn, it will always end up with a straight line and a dot in the middle connecting those two lines, line segments or rays. Now we have to prove that we went counterclockwise. To do that, we need that curved arrow. Since we went counterclockwise, we went backwards around the clock. We went from 12 to 9 and from 9 to 6. On your final one, you were going 3 quarters turn clockwise. So again, you visualize that big clock with this being at the center, with the 12, the 3, the 6, and the 9. Counterclockwise, remember, is going backwards, so you should have headed in the direction of the 11, 10, 9, and so on. Now a three-quarter turn is a big turn. It's most of the way around the clock. You needed to go through three of the sections on the clock when you divide it up from 12 to 6 and from 9 to 3. So this would be one section. Here would be two sections. Here would finally be three of those sections. To prove to me that you really did go counterclockwise, you have to draw those curved arrows to say I went from 12 to 9, from 9 to 6, and from 6 to 3. It's a big rotation because a three-quarter turn is a big spin. Now, if you have any questions, make sure to ask your teacher. Otherwise, if you got these three correct and you feel comfortable, comfortable you can go ahead and move on to your next activity on your center. Good luck!